Yo, what is going on guys? Just want to mention this is actually part two of a two-part video. I wanted to split them up so that it wasn't so long because the first part took up 10 minutes in itself. This video, I'm going to show you all the After Effects stuff. If you do want to see the premiere parts, if you do want to see me talk about it, if you do want to see me break it down, make sure you check out the part one first. Link will be in the description. Anyways, without any more talking, I hope you enjoy this. Subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you guys learned something new and enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do this cool transition right here where it kind of goes through the square in his hands and then goes and transitions into the next scene just like that so for that we're going to go into after effects just to make it easier so let's go into premiere and i have a similar scene right here where he's kind of making like the okay sign and we're going to try and do it with that instead of like going like this so any kind of shape that the person creates or any just kind of shape in the scene you can recreate this what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click this clip and then replace it with an after effects composition okay guys so now we have our footage within after effects and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the part where we have this okay sign and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click control d duplicate it just like that and now i'm also going to click Control shift d and then delete this end part that we don't need right there so I'll delete that and then we just have this area right here now i'm going to zoom in a bit just so i can see the actual circle and i'm going to come up to my masking tools i'm going to alt click on this rectangle until i have the ellipse tool or you can just click q on your keyboard and then I'll just zoom in and I'll just make like a little circle just like that. And if you want it to be more exact, you can always just use the pen tool. I think I'm actually going to switch and use that. Just okay, so we made our mask. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down over to my footage, click the M key to show your mask options. Let's go ahead and change this from add into subtract just like that. And it's not doing anything because there is footage behind it. So if I hide it, you'll see exactly what we did. And I can just bump up the feather and I can just bump up the feather a tiny bit just to kind of make that a little bit more smooth like that. So let's right click on our middle clip and we're going to go ahead and go to time and we're going to click time and we're going to click freeze frame. So go to time freeze frame and now you'll see if I move it's just going to be this frozen frame which is what we want which is good okay so now there's two ways we can really get this kind of zoom effect that we're going for you can either bump up the scale a huge amount or what you can do which is a little bit more smooth is you can create a camera and I'm going to do it this way just because I think it's the better way for really doing these zooms if you want like I said you can just bump up the scale until it's really the size of the screen like that but I'm going to make a camera just because I think it's a little bit easier to do so what I'm going to do is right click here I'm going to click new and then I'm going to click camera and then I'm going to click OK and then click OK again. And then I'm just going to click on this middle clip right here. And I actually renamed it transition just to keep just so you guys don't get confused. This is the freeze frame that we have just in the middle. I'm going to pre compose this. So I'm going to right click pre compose. I'm going to name that transition like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a 3D layer. So if you don't see this option, just click this toggle switches and modes button until you do. It's right here, this kind of 3D cube, just toggle that. So now it's a 3D layer. So now we can actually use the camera to make zooms and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open up our camera options, open up transform. And then at this starting position where we want the transition to happen, let's keyframe all of that just like that. Now what we're going to do is we can use our camera tools to kind of zoom in here. So use the C key to cycle through those. And I'm just going to use this one that kind of is like an up and down arrow. And I'm just going to zoom in a huge amount like this. And then I'm going to go back to the four arrows and I'm going to use that to kind of just navigate to where the hole is. And this just makes it a lot easier because you'll see in just a second. So I'm going to zoom in to where the hole really is like that. And like I said, this hole is going to have our normal footage right there. And now I'm going to go and drag on my timeline a bit. And right about here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click this reset button next to camera, just like that. And that's going to set keyframes back to our normal position. So what we created is this little animation where it zooms out. Now let's go ahead and turn back our bottom footage. That's how we're going to be able to see it through the actual circle. Now, if this is happening too fast for you, just grab these end keyframes right here and just drag them all the way back until we have the animation that we're really going for. So you can just drag that, adjust it however you like. And that is kind of, and that is very similar to what was in the video. Maybe a little bit too fast, so I'll just drag back these keyframes even more like that. We'll see what that looks like. And there's a cut right here, so it looks pretty quick, but it is the same exact thing. We just kind of have this zooming out of this hole. Pretty cool effect, very similar to my ASAP Rocky video that I was talking about. Hey guys, and the last thing that I want to talk about, which they actually use in this video a few times, is this 3D tracking of objects, specifically these kind of like shards that look like mirrors. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple. And I do want to mention before I show this little part of the tutorial, if you guys would like to, make sure you comment below whatever video you'd like me to do next for this series. I'm going to kind of base it off what you guys want to see, because this channel is as much as yours as is mine. I really want to tailor my content towards what you guys really want to see, especially for this series, because I feel like you guys have really been enjoying this series so far. 
All right, so enough of that talk. Let's go ahead and add in this cool little 3D tracking that we got going on here. We got this footage right here. I thought this would make a pretty cool shot to kind of apply this like mirror shard effect onto. Just some footage I got um, when I was in LA this past weekend. Gonna be putting out a crazy cinematic video with some cool stuff coming on there. I kind of have like a whole script and idea for what I want to do with it. Let's go ahead and bring this footage into After Effects. So let's right click, place with After Effects composition. All right, so we have our footage in After Effects right here, and we're gonna go ahead and create those cool kind of like 3D shards. So first off, what we need to do is we need to find the actual parts of the scene that we want to kind of fly, that we want to float through space. So um, I think for this scene, it would be pretty cool to have one of these stars. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use actually a similar technique that I just showed you in Premiere with the cropping and stuff like that, except with some added stuff on within After Effects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click our footage. I'm gonna click Control D. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to crop out the star. So select our pen tool, select whatever part of the footage you would like to crop just like this. Okay, so we got the star crop just like that. Let's click on that top footage and I'll rename that star. And let's click the M key to show the mask options. Now for this one, instead of clicking subtract, we're going to keep it on add. So let's hide our bottom footage. And this is exactly what we have right here. Just this star masked out. Now we're going to do that same thing I showed you earlier with the 3D layer we use for the kind of like zoom through the circle transition. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click toggle switches and modes until I see these kind of options right here. And I'm just going to make both of these 3D layers. But before we do any of that, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to click control shift D and get rid of this kind of excess. And then I'm gonna freeze frame this part right here. So right click and go ahead up to time and then freeze frame. So now we have the star stuck like that and we're not gonna be moving around the mask, which is what we want. Let's go ahead and actually move around this star however we want in 3D space. Let's click transform. We can change around the orientation. We can move it around like this. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Now the only problem is if I zoom along here, it's moving with our footage. It's not sticking in 3D space. So to be able to do that, I'm gonna click on our bottom footage right here. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna go up to track and stabilize and I'm going to click track camera just like that and it's gonna do all the work for us it's gonna analyze the background all right so our 3d track just did all the work as you can see we have all these points here sticking to whatever we want looks pretty cool we could go and do some really cool effects just with this and like stamp things to part of the scene but instead of doing that all we need to do is click this one button right here so come up to our effect controls and just click create camera just like that and now what, now what you're gonna be able to see is you're gonna see that everything is reacting to the camera. So since this is a 3D layer, it's going to be moving with the camera, as you see right here. It's not stuck on the scene, it's really moving with the camera, which is a really cool option. If I turn off the 3D layer, you're gonna see it moves. It just kind of sticks there. Turn back on the 3D layer, you're gonna see it moves with the camera. It's really stamped into one specific spot. So like I said, now we can move this however we would like. We can change up the orientation however we would like. You can even keyframe any of this to kind of give it just some slight motion. Maybe just kind of like a little bit with the orientation just so it's moving like a tiny bit. That's even a little bit too much, so I'll just drag the keyframe out. And that's using the same exact techniques that was used for that video with the kind of shards, except I did it with a specific object. And then we can also mask out and add any other parts of the actual footage that we would like for example if you want to make like a triangle pattern like how it was in the music video we'll do the same steps let's click our base footage Control d to duplicate and then we'll mask out kind of like a triangle pattern on that duplication like that and then we're going to right click it go to time and then freeze frame that layer and then if you get this error just make sure you delete the 3d camera tracker off there and that's how you do it. Now you have this kind of like shard of the video right there. It's just always gonna depend on your footage. For the shot they have right here, for the shot they have right here, it looks pretty cool because they can use the sky and kind of contrast that onto the brown ground. Really just be creative with this. It's a really cool thing that I use a lot in my videos, this kind of 3D camera tracking and stuff like that. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, click subscribe, join the community. If you enjoy these series, any of these tutorials on my channel, make sure you leave a like, helps the growth a huge amount. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting and I'll see you guys later.